Ironwood Games. This is Andrew, and welcome back to Midweek Magic uh, Sealed on Caverns of Ixalan. Uh, if you watched our last video, we agonized over uh, building this. We ended up in a kind of a Naya build, um, kind of red-white splashing some green. Um, I didn't actually look at the land, the mana base, um, on it, and maybe I should have. Uh, we might need to cut uh, a couple of forests or something. Um, to get our early game plays a little bit better. Um, but for now, let's jump into a couple of games. Uh, maybe after this first one, we'll go in if uh, we see that we need it. Like right here, this hand is is fine. Um, is this great? No, but we get turn three, create the treasure, which means turn four, we could panic Altasaur, which is fine. I'm going to keep it. Do get the draw. I'm gonna hit a volcano since it's tapped. Get that out of the way. That's pretty good. Um, let's see how aggressive our opponent is being. And do we want to petrify because we can? Sure. Um, because our plan is to plundering pirate Altasaur in the next two turns, I think this lets us use our mana and gets uh, neutralizes the threat that we have. Um, I think the only way this really doesn't work out for us is if they play um, a like vehicle that they could then crew uh, with it. Uh, Warden is interesting. We do like that one. Um, we don't need to show off our third color yet. Uh, we do need to be mindful that we do have like double green things. So with the treasure, I suppose if we had drawn a double green five drop that we wanted to play instead, but I don't think we have any. I think all of our double greens were four drops. Um, in turn, we could, I guess, use the treasure and do Warden, but I think getting this Altasaur, um, just putting a clock down a lot quicker is good for our opponent. I do think these land cycling cards are really good in this set, they really help you get where you need to be. We're gonna use the treasure this turn. Um, before we do that though, let's attack. Let's leave our mana open in the attack. So, um, if we do that, we'll auto pay that. Yeah, like we know we could play this next turn. We'll have five mana. Uh, next turn, but I don't mind like Atali's favor on I think the Plundering Pirate. We're probably just gonna that's a beautiful uh, thing. This is super annoying, and that is the thing we need to get rid of. Okay. Um, we may not. Uh, we gotta see. We need to clear this board off. Um, so here... have the planes. We'll just play the planes. We'll save the forest. It doesn't really matter. The question is, do we attack? I guess we could have favored here and then our attack would be a little bit better. But I think we attack here and we offer uh, the, the trade if they want to double block otherwise they can take four and then we put down child we just need to outrace this smithy at this point and I think at the end of turn we can tap three to put a counter on this um, yeah next turn it looks like they can one more creature out. Yeah, these things grow so quick. It's rather annoying. Are you going to be able to do something? Okay, that's just going to make it minus. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. Um, 
do we just want to chump here? I think we do, with it being minus. Oh, we can only do this as a sorcery. That's uh, the limitation on it. So we couldn't do that in response. That's fine. Um, we weren't going to be able to do it this turn anyways. That's really annoying. Ugh. Okay, we... This is one of those, um, as we were saying, deck-building artifacts that just we need to be able to destroy right away. Can't. Um, so most likely they just tap everything out to flip this next turn, which means we need to put pressure on them, which I think is... Yeah, give them that take the trade because um, I think we need to be at the point of if they tap out what would we take if we put the counter on here and we get the scry I think we do that um, so take 10 go to 8 potentially like 12 go to 6 but we need to be able to win next turn 2 damage to target creature that'll kill that do we have any dinosaurs? We do have a four. It does kill something, so... And it potentially kills a blocker that lets us four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, go through. So now our opponent has, yeah, if they tap out for everything uh, to flip this, we have lethal on board. We have a kill... All right, they chose not to, uh, which means our pressure campaign is working. Yes, yes, that's, that's good. Okay. Oh, even better. Okay. So we can... They can block something that's the biggest. So we need to make this a 3 as well. So no matter what they block... Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. five we don't need this to do it let's go next let's go all attack and i believe they take nine even if they block the biggest and then we can eat something if we need to. i guess we could have used the rotten to kill that since it is an artifact but i think we had that there um, sure, we had fun. It was... Oh, they do that backwards every time. I feel like the... They're backwards to me, so... Oops, Arena. Um, I don't know. Fix that. Make it clearer. Because I can't tell you the number of times I've misclicked that stupid did you have fun thing. I don't know. I can't read the faces because of my slight autism or something. I, who knows? Um, I don't know what emotions were. <laughs> These are the same emotion as far as I'm concerned. Um, oh. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, all right, so the deck pulled it out. It did get there over the um, the Thousands Moons Foundry, whatever that stupid card is. Um, that's a ridiculous, ridiculous card. Um, so we'll see. Um not too bad. We did
did manage to get um, that discover trigger into something else. Um, this does not look like a good starting hand, though. Um, I go first, so I don't get the draw. We don't have anything to do until turn four. We can petrify something, but I need to draw another land, and I'd like to draw early things. I don't have enough to put on the board to do that. I'm going to mull this. Um, maybe it's wrong to mull that. I think this is a keep. Um, I don't really want to put a land on the bottom. Um, I don't know what goes on the bottom here. Because this is removal. This is potential removal. And that's really good. I think we're going to get rid of that. That's just going to be the least likely, I think. Let's put this down, look to remove, and then go on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't love it. But there we go. We'll play Mountain. Um, oh, I guess this is a sorcery. It's not an instant. But if it had been an instant, then we could blow up. Here's our beautiful greedy freebooter. We're going to play planes so we can play the Iron Pot Aspirant. Alright, we need to draw any land in the next two. Uh, forest would be nice just because it lets us uh, play that, which I think might be slightly better. Um, because we don't have anything to play on turn three, that's actually a fine uh, tap. Um, the question is, do we need to blow that up? And no, if they want to block, it's, um, which, <clears throat> I don't know, to me seems bad. Why did they not block there? They didn't even block, so we don't even care. Um, you're paying red to deal two damage to your opponent. Um, but yeah, if they're just playing out a bunch of pirates, maybe they're of the mindset um, as much as I want to play the Colossal Dactyl, um, I think the Descend Trigger getting out on the board quicker is better. Because um, now if they've got a trick or something, um, we at least get some value off of that onto the Volcano. And then next turn, looking at playing Colossodactyl, holding up Chomp. Ooh, what'd you do? Deadweight us? Okay, perfect. That is fine, because it's going to stay up as a blocker. Um, yeah, let's put it down. Not attacking with it because it's not going to do anything. We'll hold it up. We'll just block with it uh, when we need to. We now have four on this, so four damage for one red is really good. It, it worked out since our opponent didn't want to trade these freebooters. I'm not sure why. Maybe the answer will make it clear. Okay, this I know is a good card. I don't know what it does. Um, you let put a creature. Ooh. Tap them transformed. Oh, cool. So it does a thing. Okay, unfortunately. Um, our chomp is only. power two right now, or a power four, and you need it to be a power five. When it dies, it transforms. So we'll turn it into a land. I think we hold up um, no attacks, end turn. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, give this indestructible. Totally makes sense. Um, it gets trampled, but we're gonna jump damage. Oh my goodness, I forgot to turn my. Um, my emails are really sorry. We are, oh 
album on snow day this so i thought about just sacking this um and I, I didn't mention it because I was like, no, that seems bad because we know we had something that would love to sack the buried treasure. And that not only gets rid of this, but it exiles it. So congratulations. We're going to sacrifice an artifact. And then we're going to exile a 6-5. Um, we could discover 5 um, we're looking 12 to 12. We can double here. We still have four power on the chomp. So we could look to take five. The question is, let's go to attacks. We're definitely not attacking. Um, again, I need to be able to, to kill that. Um. Oh, this is only my instep, so it didn't trigger when we sacked that. That's alright, we still saved ourselves a damage. And I do think I'm happy to double block if he only attacks here. Um, we'll see what attacks look like. This can't block, That's not. we're not worried about that. Um, that we can blow up with our triumph chomp. And I don't know why he's not just, like, wasting those. Um, so the question is, how much value do we want to get off of that? How much value do we want to get off of anything? Planes, yeah, let's put down planes. Let's just get our Discover 5. Panic Altasaur is good. Um, is now I think a double block here makes sense. No, okay. I think we can wait one more turn on that. No attacks. Um, where if he decides to attack, we just only let kill off two things. Yeah, they're gonna just fight something. That's fine. Um, this is where I wish this was an instant. seems fine. That's gonna be five. Again, I think we're in a spot we like to be where we're just gonna keep going it out. Um, yeah, my opponent is definitely not uh, going for any kind of uh, descend triggers and things on this. I'm not sure what their game plan is. Um, they're just equipping and passing. Um, we don't have an artifact to return, so we'll scry three. We'll set up, I think, a braid. We put mountain on the bottom. Plundering pirate. Do we have something we want to a braid? Probably this one. Um, but yeah, we'll take a braid. It's good, it gets rid of other things. And next. Um, no attacks into turn. Alright, we've set up our next two turns. Opponent oh, is happy to just keep passing. Um, which is interesting to me. So we could spend three mana to blow up the spike tail and then push in. 
I don't know that I love that. Uh, this is an instant. Yeah, let's... No attacks. In turn. I don't know what my opponent's out is that they seem to be wanting to dig into. But we're going to let them have it. We're going to upgrade it end of turn. As much as this glow clap glow cap lantern can be a problem um, my opponent's not willing to attack so I think just clearing the board these things can't block we know plundering pirate is coming out that's fine um, we still can't attack now if we knew uh, we could keep a dinosaur around um maybe we should maybe we should trick our opponent let's see what happens um because we will get Um, can you save it? Oh, that's fine. Okay. I am happy to take those trades. Um, I think that worked out well. Kind of got ourselves some two for twos. Oh, that one's really good. Um, but yeah, our opponent doesn't seem willing to attack can't block with those guys um, you get a uh, treasure in that so we're just clearing the board and doing damage to this one. Um, and then we're gonna start creating moves. Yeah, okay. yeah that was an interesting one I'm not sure what our opponent was doing just waiting to to draw into something they didn't get um, we probably could have forced that sooner, um, and it might have been right. Um, I'd be curious, you know, what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if maybe we should have started to uh, to force that uh, sooner and clearing that board. But I think getting us to a point where we drew, because had we drawn like a bunch of lands and flooded out, then maybe that's worse to have our opponent having... Um, all of those, you know, getting into that many draws. Um, but I think either way, it was a, our deck has to drop better than our opponent. Um, and there's no... It's unclear what our opponent had and, like, that there was ever a time where they... where it was, like, safe, safe. Um, since they were just passing and holding stuff up, it, it was very... they were playing very reactive. Um, in that, so... Uh, I'm not sure. I think I like the way I played it of just kind of like see and feel that we had enough uh, potential. Uh, three, four, five. This seems fine. We'll play this on turn one. Who goes first so I get the draw? Um, but it seemed like we had the potential then to come back uh, better at that point where we were more willing to risk uh, what we've got. Question now. Oh, we don't have a two drop. I guess not the question now, but the question next is, yeah, let's play this one out while it's quote unquote better card. Um, this one is better to keep around. Um, now with the two two double strike. Send Blade Master to the bin. Because that's four damage coming our way. Ugh. I hate that. I hate all of it. Um, but we're going to uh, force our opponent to either go all in on this. <clears throat> that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll either eat a trick here or trade. Yeah, 
and that's fine. Because now we can exile it. Ooh, or we can abrade it. Even better. The problem with either of those. And I will tell you. Is. That they both have some ups and downs. This costs more. But can't get rid of anything. This costs less for later on, but then it's restricted on what it can do. It can also kill an artifact. Like, so there's arguments in both directions. Um, what, do, what do you have, my friend? To protect it, because... At this point... I don't get to play something to my board, but I do get to clear the board and prevent four damage, so I'm happy with that. We got a one for one and a one for one um, to clear my opponent's board. Yeah, they get their own little guy, which is pretty good. Do I have um, a five? Like, is it just, yeah, I think setting up, like, we don't have enough artifacts to hold the value on this, and I think just setting up our next couple of turns. Um, Hulking Raptor could be good. This is interesting. Do we have two, three, yeah, we do. I think, because I would like to put, like, the favor on here, I think. So I think let's do it like that. Uh, drawing a forest is fine. Let's us play two threes or just a six. This keeps our friend from attacking. They missed a land drop. They've missed two land drops. But they do have the treasure. So they can start making gnomes. Um, which does eventually overwhelm us. They probably don't want to use a treasure for Nice. Ceratops good. Uh, a wonderful, wonderful thing to get quicksanded. -ed. Can't be blocked by three or more, but I think that's fine. I'd also be willing to take the five to get the discount on this. We know we're getting Hulking Raptor. Uh, which three, four, with our treasure, we can do. Um, and I don't mind a trade. Here, if you want to block with the Ceratops. And if not, um, if we're looking to take five anyways, I think keeping the life uh, pretty even here is better. So you can chump. To save four life, I'm fine with that. You can trade, I'm fine with that. Or you can take four, go to 16. And then I'm... I believe... I believe I'm going to be taking five and going to 15. Um, but we will see what my opponent does. Um, triple blocking and getting blown out seems really bad. Um... I'm gonna play a silly little mental game of like, do I want to block? Um, Cause we definitely five though kills everything and I don't want a three for one. So we're not gonna block. Um, we, we were pretty sure we weren't gonna block, but I don't want my opponent to know that I didn't want to block. Okay, that's good, that's good. Do you have an artifact to get back? No, so you'll get to set up your turns. I do like Curator of Sun's Creation, but we don't have anything to discover yet. That one's something that's definitely better to keep. Um, again, if we can get the extra discover value off of it. So, so good. Um, we're going to target this creature. Exile that bad boy. Then we're going to Hulking Raptor. Uh, actually cancel that. Um, we're gonna go in and again, we're gonna offer this trade. 
So battle cry. Was that willing? No, I don't think I'm willing to risk him without a trick. We get the one in the air for free that we probably don't want to block with. Um, again, I'm happy for this trade. We know our opponent has set up their next three draws. Well, I don't know how many they topped and bottomed because it shows so quick I don't even pay attention. So I just assume they've set up their next three draws. Um, and they know what's coming. We still have one draw that was set up. Um, I don't want to with Itali's favor next turn because of the discover trigger. I would put down the curator first. I think um, is what we'll do. Build the board, put down the curator, just have more things that can uh, go. I think we attack... Yeah, this is only each other, so I think we attack with all three um, and force our opponent to deal with the raptor. Because if it's not there for the favor, that's fine. They're going to deal with it. Anyways, yeah, paying extra for the raid is fine. That's a good piece. So yeah, we'll definitely attack with Plundering Pirate. I don't mind um, a trade. If they take the three, I'll probably take the three. Um, again, it keeps us at 12 and 12. I've got less cards at hand, but I think a better board. Okay, that's fine. I think because of that, we will keep the bat up. And... Um, I want to be able to, to eat the life linker. Because um, hitting for one and then losing one and then gaining one just negates that bat. So there's no point to attack with him. Yeah, our opponent is interestingly committed to keeping this guy around. Um, not willing to make some trades on that. So, again, with three cards. Um, this is turn two of their uh, setup, so they know one more card on the top. So, in theory, they have a plan. little bit sad they're not committing things to the board. Also a little bit sad they're trying to like rope us a little bit. Maybe they're just got a phone call or something and Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, do we want the three life swing? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. We can't do much about that. I think the, it being blocked or, or tapped down to not be able to block. And we get our double discover now. The other thing I want to do is make this a three. Um, yeah, we will definitely lock that one down. And Triumphant Chomp. Do we have a dinosaur in the browser? So I don't... It, creature. I want to put it in my hand. Um, that keeps us from having the life. Now we go next. Um, all attack. Battle cry. And you, my good sir, have your choice. Looks like 12 damage. On board. 
Um, they know about the chomp, which is fine. Uh, we haven't drawn any dinosaurs. So do we need... So, so much is lethal against them. Do we need to play Mountain? No. We'll keep a surprise card in our hand. Just to keep our opponent guessing. Okay, I believe this is now the third card that they know on the top. Um, yeah, Vitaly's favor seems good. Sure. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine, but you're going to be dead to the two in the air because this can't block. That was... I'm not sure why they put favor on here unless they have a way to get rid of petrify. Um, but even if you do, you can block a three. Like, you need another creature. So, block, block, die. Uh, I guess the lifelink keeps you alive. So, yeah, they need to get rid of petrify. <laughs> going to debate. So I think if they hadn't, um, the question is do we play the axe job free combat uh, to like kill the lurker bat? If they kept it up like they weren't going to die, do we attack, see what they have, and then do that? Because um, and I think this will be the last game on this, so um, we're towards the end. Um, if you haven't you know, like the video, go ahead and click like. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel so you can get more. Um, and then give us any feedback on any of these games. Um, I'm sure we made some misplays or some other things. I love getting your guys' comments um, and engaging in that so we can, you know, improve together. I think this build worked out fine uh, for what we're doing. Um, if you didn't see the build video, uh, go back to that build video. Um, and let us know what you think. I may post a couple other videos. I may go and do some other builds of more of a red white artifacts um i may just do the red green dinos build um just to see what they play like um and we may post a couple of those matches as well um but real quick to finish this up um and i don't know what the right answer is there's an argument my opponent has two mana up two cards in hand um I don't believe there's a way at instant speed they can get rid of the Petrify. Um, <clears throat> but um, this, again, comes from me not knowing all of the tricks and all the things. So the argument is, there's an argument of you play Axe Jaw pre-combat. Triumphant Chump, because this is now four, Axe Jaw onto the Lurker. Um, if they have a trick or some way to save it, they use their mana there. Um, and they can't, like, if they could, they can't blow up the Petrify. Um, and then you swing for lethal. Or you attack with everything, see if they can do something with this, and then, based on that, if they've traded some other things, you can blow something up. I think you, they gain the life there. I think the correct play is... And correct me if I'm wrong, or, or you know, let me know in the comments what you think. But I think the correct play on this turn, if they hadn't conceded and they forced us to uh, go to lethal, is to play Axe Jaw, Triumphant Chomp, uh, the Ruin Lurker Bat, because this Life Link is the thing that that keeps us in in problems, and then attack uh, with everything, knowing uh, once they're tapped out or they. If they're tapped out to save this, or if they're not, whatever trick they have to do this, we should be able to get um, through. So I think that's where I would have gone and settled on. I don't know, though, because they conceded. So uh, let's go grab our last prize. And thanks, guys, for joining me uh, on this midweek magic um, sealed. I think we, um, like I said, go watch that build video. Ooh, fun. Um, and let me know what you think. I think we built an effective deck. 
Um, it did pretty well. It played well um, on that. But there could have been some other builds that maybe uh, were a little bit better. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye.